Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. My wife just got uh, this pair of matching uh, ammonite fossils, which are really cool. And she thought it would be a good idea if I could make a, like a heart-shaped uh, frame or holder for them, which I did. I made this thing, and I'm going to show you how I did it. I made the heart out of a piece of cherry that I originally bought to make a picture frame for my mom, but I kind of forgot that, and so now I'm gonna have to get some new wood for that project. Sorry, mom. This piece of cherry was one inch thick. I cut two pieces off the board, and I just eyeballed their sizes. I designed a template on the computer and printed it out. Then I cut it out to make it easier to work with. I used spray adhesive to attach the templates to the wood pieces. I took the two pieces of wood over to my bandsaw and cut them out. One piece is the actual heart, and the other is a stand for the heart. Then I cut the heart piece in half along its side. I lost the uh, video footage for this, but the cut was made just like this. I used a large drill bit to cut out a lot of the inner pieces where the fossils will sit in the top half of the heart. Then I took that piece over to my scroll saw and cut out those cavities properly. I sanded the inside of those cavities with a sanding disc on a Dremel rotary tool. Then I glued the two halves of the heart back together. As that was drying, I used spray adhesive to attach another copy of the template uh, to a small piece of scrap cherry. This part of the template is for two little inserts that will sit in the cavities and prop the fossils up. I then cut this piece of wood to make it thinner and then cut out the two prop pieces with my bandsaw. Then I sanded these pieces down to their final size and shape. I glued these pieces into the bottom of the cavities in the heart. While the glue was drying, I inserted the stand piece into a vise and used an angle gauge to make sure the one end was perfectly perpendicular to the ground. Then I drilled a half inch hole with a Forstner bit so the bottom of the hole would be flat. I cut a small piece of half inch dowel and glued it into the hole I just drilled. I figured out where I needed to drill a matching hole in the back of the heart and then drilled that hole. I sanded the heart and the stand down to 220 grit I used spray lacquer to finish the wood. 
I applied three coats of lacquer, letting each coat dry before recoating. I got another copy of the template and use spray adhesive to stick it to a piece of cereal box cardboard. I cut out the cavities with an X-Acto knife. Then use this cardboard template to cut out two pieces of felt that would perfectly match the bottom of the cavities in the wood heart. I applied contact cement to the bottom of the cavities and to the back of the two felt pieces. I let that dry for about 20 minutes, then press the felt pieces into the bottom of the cavities. Finally, I applied a little paste wax to knock down the glossiness of the lacquer. Then I inserted the stand in the back of the heart and placed the fossils into their cavities. And I was done. So I think the frame turned out pretty well. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, I intentionally made this back stand part removable. Uh, I could have easily glued it together, but I, I wanted to be able to, uh, you know, just have the heart by itself without the frame if I ever you know need to store it or if I just want it sitting on a table or a desk or whatever. Because it's heart shaped it comes down to a, a single edge on the bottom and so this whole thing isn't particularly stable even though the, the I made the back stand pretty wide relatively. It's fine if it's just sitting there um, but you kind of have to adjust this stand just right to get it to balance properly. Um, and it doesn't take too much to knock it over, especially with the ammonites in there because they're, they're pretty heavy. So with that said, I'm still happy with the project. Uh, just kind of some limitations of this shape, but it looks good. It, it holds the ammonites well. What more can I ask for, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. So my wife just got, uh, ooh, no. And she thought it would be cool if I could build a heart-shaped box to, or no, 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 no. And she thought it'd be a good idea if I could make a, like a heart-shaped box. No, not a box. Why do I keep saying box? It certainly serves its purpose. This cherry wood is very, looks very, bleh.